Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. This is Bobby and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Absolutely. Okay, now and assuming, I mean, because you've already answered a thousand questions about this fight. So assuming Golovkin gets past Canelo, you have the number one contender, Jamal Charlo. Then you still have Danny Jacobs, a possible rematch. Are you guys, are you interested in putting Golovkin in with either one of those guys? Because Char Charlo's obviously been calling him out look, or the uh, winner of this fight. Look, Danny uh, had a, a great performance in Madison Square Garden. He definitely rose to the occasion. You know, nobody can question his chin anymore. Going 12 rounds with Triple G, you can't, you know, he got knocked down, but he got up and he, and he fought hard, uh, you know, in the second half of the fight. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you can go 12 rounds with Triple G the first time anyone's done that in, the, in uh, Triple G's career, you got to give Danny a lot of credit. Um, it really depends on how this fight goes. Uh, if he wins, I think a lot of doors open up for him. A lot of the guys that wouldn't fight him last year, uh, I think will we'll, uh, be in line to fight him this year. He's always wanted to unify the titles. Um, this will be, if he's successful on Saturday, it'll be 19 defenses. The great Bernard Hopkins holds the record at 20 in the middleweight division. So we'll see if he can unify with uh, Saunders. You know, we'll see. We'll see who's uh, who's out there. But I definitely think that if he wins, and uh, his career will be at a whole different level. And the options of the guys that will fight him are going to be also uh, guys that didn't want to fight him before will want to fight him now. Because there was a report a while ago, like right after um, Ward knocked out Kovalev, there was a report and they quoted Golovkin. That he's thinking about retiring. He said, this, you know, this is a dangerous sport. He said something like that. And he, he said, you know, um, every fight is difficult. That's what he said. So he, he said, talk to his family and he's thinking about retiring. Did he ever share, you know, any of those thoughts with you or? No, the, the uh, you know, because of Gennady's English and it, it came across the wrong way, but you, you were right when he said he talked to his family. His wife and his son want him to spend more time at home. You know, when Gennady fights three times a year or that one time he fought four times a year, he was in his training cap for eight months out of the one time he fought uh, four times a year. Um, so his wife wants to have him at home more, and that's what he was alluding to in the interview, is that, you know, if he beats Canelo, his wife wants him to stay home, so, you know, that type of thing. But then he just did an interview last week where he said feels like he's 25 and he wants to fight for another five years. So I really think that uh, we'll see a lot more knockouts in his career, and I think we'll see a knockout on Saturday night. On Saturday night. There it is. You have any other I'm new... Get, I'm going to get you a Triple G hat so you can wear it in the arena so everyone oh. knows who you're going for on Saturday night. Go ahead. You, you give me one, I'll wear it. I even wear it when we do the radio the show. I'm with the GGG, so, oh, okay. so okay. that's clear. Hey, if you guys want to fight, I even wear the hat on my radio show when we do the podcast, man. <laughs> All right, that's, so, a, that's a deal. Last thing, any yeah. any other new um, fighters um, you, you're promoting that we don't know about? Any new stars? That, uh, uh, Ryan Martin from uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ryan he's Martin. First, I just interviewed him. Okay. He's, uh, Ryan's an exciting guy. He's got a million-dollar smile. He's, uh, he's huge for a uh, uh, lightweight. 125 yeah. pounds, and, and he's my height, and, and uh, I think he'll put on an exciting show. He's fighting a tough guy, uh, Francisco Rojo from Mexico, mm -hmm. and uh, Ryan really has the potential of, of being a world champion. If he's successful on uh, Saturday night, I think he, he can fight for a world title next year. All right. Thanks for your time, Tom. All right, Dante. I'll see you this